Crypto is great, but the volatility, yeah, not so much. If you've ever traded, you know the struggle. One second you're up, next second you're down 30% because of crazy price swings. That's where stable coins come in. They're designed to be like crypto, but without the crazy price swings. They still run on the blockchain, which means fast transactions, low fees, and no banks slowing things down. But they remain stable because they're backed by real world money, like the US dollar. Welcome back to the channel, guys. In today's video, we're gonna look at fiat backed stable coins, what they are, how they work, and some of the risks involved. Let's get into it. So, there are three main types of stable coins. First, we've got fiat backed stable coins. These are pegged one to one to a real currency, like the US dollar, by having that actual currency in reserve. Next, we've got crypto backed stable coins. These are backed by another crypto asset, like Ethereum, for example. An example of this is the DAI stablecoin. And finally, we've got algorithmic stablecoins. These are, you know what, after the Terra Luna collapse, let's not even talk about these for now. Okay, so let's look at fiat backed stablecoins by using USDT as an example. For every one USDT token that exists on the blockchain, there's supposed to be $1 sitting in a bank account somewhere. Think of it like this. You give Tether 100 US dollars, they give you 100 USDT on the blockchain. You can think of it like a digital IOU. You give them a dollar, they give you a stable coin. Now you can send that stable coin anywhere in the world with minimal fees. You can store it as digital cash without worrying about price swings. And then when you want your dollars back, you just give them their stable coin back and they'll refund you your dollars. Pretty straightforward, right? This is why traders love stable coins so much. It allows them to sell their crypto like Bitcoin for stable coins which is essentially the dollar, without having to leave the blockchain. But stable coins aren't just for traders. They help everyday people as well. Imagine you live in Argentina where hyperinflation is a massive issue. Today, one US dollar is worth 800 pesos, and then in a month from now, one US dollar is worth 1,000 pesos. Your savings lose their buying power almost overnight. But with stable coins, instead of storing your money as pesos, you can convert them into a stablecoin like USDT, which is essentially the dollar. Now, your money holds its value instead of losing it, and you can send or cash out whenever needed. There are millions of people in Argentina, Venezuela, Turkey, who are using stablecoins to protect their savings. Okay, so stablecoins sound great, but what are some of the risks involved? While everything on the blockchain is completely transparent, so you can see exactly how many USDT tokens there are in circulation. It's all on the blockchain. Tether's bank account, on the other hand, is not. So you have to trust that Tether is being truthful about the reserves that they actually have on hand. They've even been caught lying multiple times in the past about how many reserves they actually have and had to pay a $41 million fine back in 2021 for misleading the public. So while stablecoins are extremely useful, they do still come with some risks. If you guys got any value out of this video, please subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one.